What's going on, guys? Welcome to another uh, Magic the Gathering internet draft with constructed cards and in a constructed event, so not a draft at all. So I'm going to be playing this deck. This is a Sweet Sultai Explorer deck. It is not my deck. This went 5-0 in a league. I saw it. I wanted to play Wild Growth Walker because this is one of those cards that you look at and you're like, oh my god, look at this limited card. And then it shows up in a constructed deck and you're like, oh my god, look at this constructed card now. Kill JOGC. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, would Lenoir else be better than Branchwalker? No, they do totally different things. Plus, you're only ramping to, dra to, to Jade Light Ranger, and all your four drops cost double black, so you probably want to make sure you hit other colors. Um, but, anyway, as I was saying... Uh, so if you guys are in the comments and being like, why did you play this card over this card, or why don't you have this card in the deck? I don't know. It's not my deck. I didn't make the deck. So I'm just playing it as is, the stock version. See how it does. The fact that there is a Muldratha in this deck, that's a big deal to me. That is a cool card. Uh, I like being able to get it back with a Scarab God as well. And uh, everything else seems pretty self-explanatory. you got Thrashing Brontodons, Death Gorge Scavengers, some Bantu's Last Reckoning and Golden Demise for those creatures, Duresses, Fatal Pushes. Eh, I mean, we've seen all these cards before. I also like this spicy number. There is one Eldest Reborn in the deck. Which is kind of cool. I'm a fan of that. Also, two Vrasco. Like you can't go wrong with this. Um, Jade Light Ranger. It's like the this is a this is a who's who of uh, of cool Sultai cards in, in standard right now. So I'm gonna try this out again. We're not gonna do a lead. We're just gonna play some cues just to get a feel for the deck, and uh, so we can make changes if we feel we need them. I don't have any. I don't even have 20 play points. Good lord. Yesterday was a beating. Well, glad I could help, Daniel. Oh, uh, yeah, this hand seems good. Two double Jade Light Ranger. We got the double green we need. Uh, we also have Branch Walker on two. And all of our, like, this hand is this hand is actually great. <coughs> it's funny that the song gets stuck in my head, even though you guys are the ones listening to it. I'm also listening to it, though, so... Um, yeah, we can actually leave with Fetid Pools now, because now we have all of these that come into play untapped, which is pretty good. This is a nice little, this is a sweet little curve we got here. Look at them curves. I wish I had a Karn today, because then I can actually just play this Karn, but... Uh, yeah, alright. Mm, okay. <clears throat> What are we gonna get here? A land? Okay. I assume that land is getting uh getting cycled at some point. Uh one of these two. We'll see. I'm stuck on this two o'clock on a Friday at work and don't want to be here vibe. Uh I'm also it's also two o'clock on a Friday at work for me as well. So it looks like we're in the same boat. Kind of. Not really. I was a merfolk scout once. Oh, I really just want to play that on you because I don't really want you to draw more cards. But then, that, that's such a bad, that's such a bad curve. Well, we're gonna attack. So, four a.m. Huh? Is it four a.m. there? Scrub draft. Are you in Australia? Have we gone over this before? Frank's two a.m. Two, two on a Friday is better than my. Two. Yeah, but here I am. I'm trying to. I'm trying to provide you with some of my two a.m. on a Friday for you. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Scrub drafter. I knew it. 
I feel like we've had this conversation before. Um, so we can let them get one card. And then Chupacabra it. I don't know if I want to do that, though. This is probably the biggest decision we're going to have to make this game. That's it. I like push and cycling the land. That's what I want to do. Yeah, let's get rid of that guy. <clears throat> We got blue black. I don't know if there's a third. Oh, Grixis, huh? Okay. Okay. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we changed the background too. It is now a fertile thicket. Evolving wilds. Will all be. We just play Karn here. Is Karn gonna just get countered? I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm a little afraid. Wow, this branch walker is doing some hard work, <clears throat> some heavy lifting. Wow, I'm a fertile thicket. That's probably the rudest thing you could say to us, another person. I'm actually just gonna play this. I don't really feel like getting. Did I? Come on, greens. <clears throat> get your head in the game. All right, you resolved. Uh, Branch Walker. I want to put you on top because we have another uh, another ranger in hand. Another night ranger. Motoran. What's your price for flight? So th such thicket, much wow. What's happening right now? They're not doing anything. <clears throat> Are we gonna? Should we be watching out for like hour of devastation here? That seems counterintuitive with the glint sleeve siphoner, though, right? Also, if they kill something here, which they're going to do. What? Oh, because you didn't have a. I was like, why would you choose this guy? Well, you see. Are we afraid of spell pierce here? I don't think so. We can, we can dodge Cinco Pate. What are you gonna show me? Glint Sleep Siphon or Evolving Wilds? Of course you're gonna give me the Evolving Wilds. I like that Karn's plus one, or Karn's second ability to put one of the chosen cards. Oh, it's a negative one. Never mind. Dang it. I thought it was. I thought they were both plus, plus ones, and I was like, that seems too good. Uh, if Grixis is still running on licenses integration, one of the good things about that is they cannot redirect to Planeswalkers anymore. My nose is really itching on the outside. Outside nose itching. Because it, it used to say target, deal three damage to target player. Uh, it doesn't say three damage target player or planeswalker, it just says player, so you can no longer redirect that and, and kill a planeswalker with it, which is pretty sweet. Alright, well, we need a way to deal with Birdman. Yeah, that's a good way to deal with Birdman, I guess. Boy, we're good at this game. I don't know if you do have spell pierce, but we're not gonna we're not gonna risk this getting countered, so. Uh one, two, three, four. And also we, we could actually attack first to try to get around fatal push, but they're just gonna they just block, right? I don't see why they wouldn't block here. I mean they probably do have a fatal push in hand, let's be real. God, Vraska's Contempt is such a good card. It's unbelievable. Fatal push. <laughs> Jesus. Sometimes it's almost comical, ladies and gentlemen. Karn is still very good.
I see. Well, that was sad. You just got rid of my guy. Um, how do I deal with this guy now? <sighs> well, we have plenty of cards to discard. What did we? What did they get with the Karn? Oh, the old Growth Walker. We can actually make Growth Walker and Jade Light Ranger. It's actually pretty good. Probably gonna do that. That's a lot of value. You seem to be pretty far ahead. I feel the same way, actually. Um, I'm going to bottom this and hit a land, like you do. This guy gains you three life for every activation. Mother of... That's ridiculous. That's a lot of life, man. I will discard. Get rid of the swamp. Oh, all right. <clears throat> well, that was cool. The old discard a card, uh, pass the turn. Seems good. I'm gonna bring in these duresses because they seem like they're good against you. I'm not thrilled about walking ballista. What do we see? We saw glint sleeve siphoner. Uh, we saw rekindling phoenix, and we saw angrath. I think those are the only cards. Well, fatal pushes, obviously, but. Hmm. Two Servant of the Conduit is one of the interesting cards in this deck. Why Why only two? I'm going to take out the Chupacabras. They seem a little slow. And I, I bet we can... we can. I like Death, Death Gorge Scavenger just to be able to kill a uh, Rekindling Phoenix and exile it, but... Probably just want Veraska's Contempt, right? It's good against Angrath and it's good against Rekindling Phoenix. I might take out the Eldest Reborn here. They don't seem to have a ton of guys. I think I'll just have a duress at the very least. Maybe take out the Servants, bring in more duresses. No. I'll do one and two. <clears throat> I'll do one. I, I like the Servants. We all, the only thing we saw that they could we, that we could even duress is Fatal Push and Angrath. So they might not be super uh, spell heavy. I don't think we saw enough to really know. Uh, if Eldis gets the Phoenix, then they just bring it back. Unless you mean, like, reanimate it, but that seems ambitious. That's too much work. I don't want to have to engineer that situation. Oh, uh, what do we get here? I guess it doesn't matter what we get here. We already have two sources of black, two sources of green, and one source of blue. I don't think we're getting another island, though. Nothing in the deck costs two. <laughs> in a real odd situation. Yeah, that was my concern as well. Probably just get another green here. I think the deck wants more. I guess we can take a gander when we... Actually, we got a little double black, too, so... Double greens, double blacks. I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter. It's, uh, we just have more green cards than black cards. So, uh, you, uh, is it branch marker? It actually might be siphoner here. I 
I like Branch Walker here. The next three can play Aether Hub and Siphoner and draw immediately. It gives them one turn to deal with the Siphoner. Whereas if we play Siphoner now, we'll have one energy. Next turn we'll get another energy, but then they can kill it in the meantime. Like whereas like if we play Aether Hub and Siphon on the same turn, we we start with two energy, and we can almost immediately draw a card. I just used twice in the same sentence to reference different things. I hate my. I just used it. You'd have to kill it on their turn before it triggers. Isn't that the same to reference different? Aren't those the same thing? You'd have to kill the rekindling phoenix on their their turn before the rekindling phoenix triggers. I don't know. I like. I could see that being the same thing. <clears throat> obviously, obviously, you're talking about the egg and the the rekindling phoenix itself. But I, I think you can refer to those as the for the sake of of clarity. I think those are people would understand. It's basically the same entity. Oh, before it tr oh before the Elister Warren triggers. I thought you meant before the Phoenix triggers and gets itself back. Mm. Well, yeah, you're yeah you're just uh, kind of a monster. Um, one of these days I assume I will get a counter on my Merfolk Branch Walker, but not today. Do we care if this Botanical Sanctum comes into play tapped? I think we do. I'd rather just play a branch walker here. I'm just going to walk on all the branches. Oh, yeah, we'll keep you on top. You are a valuable asset to the to the Merfolk scout team. See, otherwise Glensleaf Siphoner would have just eaten that. I see. I'm probably just gonna play Karn here. Shaky Graves, you just used make in the same sentence twice. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's a bit of a meme there. Um so they can't make a thing. We're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna Karn here. We can. No spell pierce, no spell pierce. All right, we got... Oh, they're always going to give you the... Oh, no, wait, those aren't the revealed ones. But Servant and Blooming Marsh are the revealed ones. So I will gladly accept my Blooming Marsh. Thank you. Thank you. I try not to be a monster, but it always... It just keeps happening. How can I get out of this destructive pattern? Oh, uh, it takes time. It takes time and effort, my friend. I was going for the triple it in one sense. It's okay. It's hard to make English. Uh, yeah, but you used it's... And it's twice. Hmm. You also used the wrong. You also didn't. You, there's no apostrophe in those it's's either. It's is. Ah. <laughs> uh, this is a good English lesson chat we're having here. I can get behind that. Ah, uh, the old it's is. Vraska's contempt on Karn. I mean, we are the, we already drew a card off that guy. We also drew a card off Branch Walker. Theoretically, we should be up on cards. Oh, Yehenny. Okay. Oh, do you kill my Branch Walker and give it a counter? Oh, yeah. Both at Karn. I always think Yeheni's a 3-3 because Yeheni's expertise is negative 3, negative 3. So there's like this connect here between Yeheni and Yeheni's expertise. And um, that's not really how that works. Can I get two spells? Oh, that is two spells. Jade Light Ranger, huh? Motorin! What's your... We could just Jade Light Ranger Glensleeve Siphoner and just play all the things. <clears throat> have you thought about doing some Brawl Brews? Uh, I have not thought about it very much. There's too much to focus on is really the problem. I don't have a, I don't have a problem with it. I wouldn't mind doing it. But the format seems new. And uh, I don't know how I feel about like 
intently focusing on it and trying to come up with something and like playing through cues and getting crushed and being like, well, I guess I just don't know how this format works right now. <clears throat> I don't know. None of that probably made any sense. It feels like a lot of work to get into to get into a brand new format. Does that make sense? I also got a new webcam, which was a downgrade from my previous webcam. Uh, I'll keep this guy on top. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> man, that joke sucked. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. Paul, uh, P PJ, P33, my only reservation about that joke was that Barrel has been banned. So, uh, you know, problem solved, I guess. Stop killing my things, man. Oh, they did have the fatal push? Wow. Everything's been a creature, gets indestructible. I will I'll actually double block here. <laughs> I just fell at our guardian that joke. This is nice. I, I'm a fan of what's happening right now with this uh this this stream of consciousness joke criticism that you're giving yourself. So we can get Wild Growth Walker, play Jade Light Ranger Wild Growth Walker, and uh, play a land. Or we can just Veraska's Contempt Wild Growth Walker. <clears throat> Either way, we're trying to... Oh my god. <sighs> this is sad. There's a lot of things happening here that I'm not a fan of. Maybe the play was just get Yehenny off the board. Yeah, we're just going to chump block here and expertise, or not expertise, uh, Vraska's Contempt. And we get a free card off of Karn, so whatever. And it's also Sacrifice another creature, so we'll be sure to gain some life there, which is nice. God, Woodland Cemetery over Jade Light Ranger? Dang. Karn hath died. Yeah, our hand's looking worse now because we have three lands in it. We can cycle this and play this, though. So. Have you considered not having all your things die? I have considered it. I'm on the fence about it right now, though. It's a good card. Karn, I'll miss you. They have three cards. We have four cards. They have three creatures, though. One of them is barely a creature at all. Oh, uh, I assume that was probably pretty emasculating for the Dusk Legion Zealot. You're hardly a creature at all. Game Sugar, what's going on? Good seeing you, buddy. All right. No, not a land. It's basically a land, right? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. So we can safely cycle this and still have mana to do everything else. That's actually pretty good. I probably just want to get rid of your chicken. That's a beautiful... Look at all those chickens. I guess we'll play a land here. Let's play Marsh because it'll never come into play untapped again. A flaming Barn Owl. How dare yeah, but it's also a beautiful chicken, don't forget. Men, 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 men. Yep. Uh I will I will decline to block your menace creature. If that makes if that makes you happy. 
If it makes you happy. I mean, we can still get Jade Light down. I would just rather get this guy off the board first. Interesting. All right, now I'm seeing your energy theme. Oh, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can do it for four. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, that's actually probably the play. Hope you don't have a counter spell. Oof. Man, walking ballista. O to the P. Okay. Uh, I don't think we've seen any counters this game or last, no, but I mean, I'm not gonna... They're playing blue. I'm not gonna ever stop assuming. Don't stop assuming that they have a counter spell. What do you think about Standard now? I banned this format two months ago, but now it looks more interesting. So I, I, I've been enjoying it so far, but I also like playing with cards like Karn and Teferi and Lyra, so... I could be biased, but it's also not like two months ago. I think it was definitely in worse shape. Oh, interesting. All right. Shoot you. I can see why you feel like you have to do this. I don't think it works out well for you, but I, I understand it. Still getting rid of the, rid of the Whirler Virtuoso. This guy is just more threatening. I think, like my, like I've, I've mentioned before, my, my issue with Commander is that it's just, I don't get a lot of, uh, I don't get a lot of value out of it just because all the decisions take too much work. Okay, if I could stop drawing, what is this, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. It's a lot of lands. Oh my god, and we just hit two more lands? Come on, dude. Unreasonable. Accounting the gathering. Well, that is possible. God, we're at 28 life. I had glint sleeve siphoners once. I don't know what happened to them. I guess they're in the trash can right now. They have two cards, we have two cards. Their hand is nowhere near as bad as ours, I guarantee it. I'll guarantee it. Now I'm just the men's wear. Uh, Exile is a creature they control. <sighs> yeah, I don't care about one hit from this guy. This is just a significantly better creature. They can have their... We, we go to 26, and it doesn't matter if they have one energy. Two energy is really the, the sweet spot there. Out of 28 cards, 14 of them have been lands. That is... Wait, hold on. They're exiled cards. Oh, that's that, that helps explain it. I'm just attacking for five here. They're at 12.
<laughs> you got five. Yeah, the five energy is really making it all worth it. Oh, God, they have another card? You can flash in something? Oh, yeah, sure. Why didn't they swing with Thopter? I don't have any haste creatures. Unfortunately, that only runs one Karn. We have two Vraskas in here that we have yet to see. Just doesn't feel, it doesn't feel real. Might be too dark there. I'm trying to adjust the settings for this camera, make sure it's. That's probably a little better. Yep. No blockers, magic, because I don't have any. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. A glint sleeve siphoner of my own. Surely this will survive. I have been attacking. Pretty sure I didn't miss any attacks, right? Oh, I, I just didn't attack last turn. Yeah, sure. I missed one attack. All right, well, if the two extra cards you've drawn can't uh, deal with my Glint Sleeve Siphoner, I guess, I guess that's good. <clears throat> Am I seriously going to get to draw two cards? Oh, wow. Would you like to use this ability? Please. Oh, that's a, that's a good boy. Alexander said, hmm, I don't know that. Uh, to me saying, that's a good boy. That's pretty funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we can have five. We'll have seven left over. I wonder what turn I missed the land drop. Hello. If you have an answer and you didn't use it to kill the Glen Sleeve Cypher, that's going to feel real weird. Really? What are we getting? Glen Sleeve World, Branch Walker, Jade Light Ranger. <clears throat> I think it might just be Walking Ballista. One, two, three, four. Nah, that doesn't make any sense, right? Um. It might just be Ballista. And we could have kept this up to activate twice. Maybe that was correct. Yeah, that was probably correct. I mean, Jade Light Range is a 4-4 that could give us more cards. I want to take the Jade Light Ranger. I don't actually think it's a... Uh, I'd rather just make sure our draws are better... Uh, keep you on top. Keep you on top. Yeah, we have no responses here, unfortunately. Jade Light Ranger is 6-6, six, six, though, and we have a Hostage Taker on top, so we can actually Hostage Taker, still Glint Sleeve Siphoner, and win. We'll see if that happens. Yes, it does. Yes, it does.
This deck seems pretty sweet. I don't actually have any issues with it. Um, Sultai Explorer. There's nothing after one game that I was like, oh, let me change, let me change something. Uh, Mike is at work, the same place he is every day. I will keep this hand. It's not super exciting, but it does things. And we have our one of Karn, which is exciting on its, on its own. Oh, a Bomad Courier. Oh, this could be good. If this guy gets to survive for a turn, I'm excited about the prospect. I have not seen the Jerry list. I think you're the second person who's asked me that. They don't have a second land, which is great for us. I will... 1,000% block. I'm going to gain 6 life against the red deck. That seems okay. Um, bottom. And it'll land. Alright, sure. Go to 23. Uh, I think the other person asked me the other... It wasn't today, though, so... No worries, no worries. Is your name supposed to be Peej? Like PJ? Because then I'll just call you PJ if that's okay with you. Alright, Peej. I will keep this in mind. I'm pretty sure you can just Karn here. I don't think it's not Karn. That's what I that's how I feel. I don't feel like it's not Karn here. Cause Karn goes to six, and even if we like even if they got rid of both of our guys, he would only go to one, so. Thanks for the fetid pools. <laughs> wah wah wah. God, it's always... Karn's plus one ability is basically draw land, unfortunately. I wonder if that's going to affect his value at some point. You're always Karn. Get wrecked. Mox Ambers? Double Mox Amber? Oh, they're just going to go off this turn. Oh, Chandra. I see. I mean, if they, like, kill Jade Light Ranger, that's fine. And they can't attack all at Karn, because then we just kill their Chandra. Alright. No, well, that's fine. I will block the monkey. What do they hit? Jade Light Ranger? Nah, we'll just plus here. Oh my god, another island. See, it's just all lands. It's all lands for days. So we're actually going to cycle this guy. Oh, big choops. Big uh, choopity dupes. Let's try to kill the Chandra. Main plant marsh. Uh, 
I mean, if they can unload three cards and still activate Vomad Courier, okay. <clears throat> Wild Growth Walker should a counter whenever you plus one Karn. Because <laughs> it's putting a land into our hand. And scrying a spell to the bottom, essentially. I can get behind that. Pe Peanut Nalar. What was the revealed card? I guess they just dealt us. Did they just not cast it? Activate Chandra. Oh, added two red. Okay, makes sense. I understand now. Siphoner, eh? Siphoner, I barely know her. That's a classic. That's an old meme, but it checks out. What are we killing here? Probably carry Zev. <laughs> Woodland Cemetery. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if if Karn survives, which I assume he probably will. Also, Chandra can no longer deal damage to Planeswalkers, which is really useful. Well, that's a thing. Oh, I'll get rid of one more card. Wow. This is working out well for them. Hazard is not a good card. Now I'm wishing we just took the uh, Ravenous Chupacabra, but... Well, the red deck just hopes that we draw only lands, and uh, we actually will. So, how many lands are in this deck, actually? That's a good question. 26 lands in this deck? That seems excessive. Oh, it's all making sense now. All right, that is the one, that is my one criticism so far. I would definitely take at least, at least one land out. This is definitely, like, we have uh, Merfolk Branch Walk, four Merfolk Branch Walkers, four Jade Light Rangers, and... Four Glint Sleeve Siphoners and two Servant of the Conduits. Like, that is a lot of ways to hit lands uh, that are not lands. Good lord. John, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Well, I'm going to block you because you're just going to sack it anyway.
Yeah. Draw the old draw five. Oh god. Bowman Courier is a card I really want to get rid of when I can. But uh there are times where you just can't use your removal on it because you have better targets and it's just really hard to deal with. How about a Vraska's Contempt? That would be good. We're going to play another PNLR here. Wow, that's exciting. This card's super exciting, especially with Hazaret. What? That's exciting. Yes. Land. Okay. That's pretty okay. One, two, three, four, five. We can't do anything yet, but we can cycle this to get it in our hand next turn. This turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have three mana, so we can actually play F Jade Light Ranger out of the graveyard. It's not bad. What up, Denmark? Got that Muldrotha on top. Seriously? That's gross. You're not a good person. Yeah, I like removal land out of another Karn. I can get behind that. 26 lands is excessive. Like, you play 26 lands in control decks. Of each permanent type. So I guess we'll do that. So we can play lands from our graveyard? Oh, that's pretty good. We're at 17. That's actually pretty healthy. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is actually this seems good. I don't know if they'll have a way, a way to deal with Moldrotha in their main deck, but okay, that's not a card I care about. Okay, so they have one mana. All right, seems good. Oh my god, this deck is amazing. Tetsuko with Jace? Oh, this deck seems like gas, dude. They get to draw two here? I mean, we'll, we have Muldrotha. We can get back uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. So we can get back Chupacabra, Branchwalker, Wild Growth. Jade Light Ranger. Jade Light Ranger, Chupacabra, and Wild Growth Walker, which is a pretty good turn. And we get to draw an extra card here. Oh, that's pretty okay. Man. My kingdom for a uh, for a Vraska's Contempt here. 
We can also play Karn. Oh, man. What does one per turn mean? Oh, we can get well, only, only one creature per turn. I see what you're saying. Um, so it's probably just Chupacabra corn. Corn? <laughs> corn. Corn! Um, hmm. So Eldest Reborn. Yeah, I get it, guys. I get it. Dang. They have no cards in hand? All right, well, that's good to know. So we can kill Chandra. I imagine you sacrifice the Bomad Courier. That seems like the weakest link. Even though it has three, it gives you three cards. You could sacrifice the Carry Zev. Oh, Jace is just loot, actually. Jace isn't draw a card. It's draw a card, then discard a card. That's so much worse. I'm so much less impressed by that. I can see why this is a tough choice. But we also get to play a Ravenous Chupacabra from the graveyard, so that's pretty cool. Also got to play a Fetid Pools from the graveyard as well. Tetsuko. I'm going to kill this guy because if they want to actually draw their cards, which I assume they will, it turns off Hazaret so that they can't block this, which gets to kill Chandra. And if they want to keep Jace, they have to also block Muldratha. Yep, it seems good. So now we get to do things. Look at our hand. Uh, attack you, attack Jace. Yep, now we just get to eat a carry Zev for free. So now you just have Jace and Hazaret, which is pretty okay. But you do have four cards in hand. It's a bit scary. God, infinite carry Zevs. This is literally carry Zev, carry Zev, carry Zev. That's your fourth carry Zev. That's a lot. That's a good amount of carry Zevs. I was like, how does he lose Jace next, next turn? Like, automatic. Oh, another Mox, huh? Really? Just play that without actually tapping the other one? This is all very interesting. I will probably just block here. Uh, what did they do? They plus Jace? Whenever one or more creatures you control, do combat damage. Oh, it's actually one or more, so it's not even like... Oh, this is all... This card... Jace is just worse and worse. Okay, <laughs> they're just going to scoop here. Oh, man. I Actually, we can sideboard out of land, actually. That's kind of funny. I want to take out Evolving Wilds and bring in Fatal Push. Oh, boy. 
Oh, Vraska's Contempt can come in. Oh, Liliana Death Master. I'm not, I'm not a big Liliana's Death Mastery fan. Golden Demise actually doesn't seem great. Like, it doesn't kill carries. That, like, all, of all the creatures they played that game, it literally just kills Bomat Courier. It doesn't kill Carrie's Ev. It doesn't kill uh, Hazaret. It doesn't kill Tetsuko. It kills one of their, their creatures, unfortunately. We probably just want all the Vraska's Contempts because reasons. Yes, Carrie's Ev is a 1-3. Uh, I don't think Bonti's... Like, they don't have a ton of creatures. Like... They weren't, like, overwhelming the board. They had, like, three creatures out at any given time. I feel like we had just as many creatures out. I'm more worried about their Planeswalkers than uh, than I am about their... Eldest Reborn seems a little bit sad. Everything else seems great, though. Uh, this hand seems fine, presuming our Glintsleeve Siphoner can live, and we can draw... One card. Bomat Courier every game. Never fails. Package. I've got a little delivery for you. That was a good draw. I'm a fan. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, that's also interesting. A lot of interesting things happening here. I actually might just want to kill this now. I feel like I do. And if they want to discard their three cards for... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the UPS guy, they're like... And you're like, but you did you really even knock? Probably not. Oh, they get a loot. Hey, that's a good draw. Let's uh, play that, but not with a black mana. They have two cards. We have five. Uh, I will keep you on top twice because you're just that good. And next time we can play two dudes. You can play a Merfolk Branchwalker and a Glintsleaf Siphoner. We could just Vraska's Contempt this Jace. 25 lands does seem perfect. I agree with you. That's like where you want to be. I think 24 might be a little low. 25 is pretty cool. I don't know what I'd add for the 25th land, though. I guess it could be a Jace. I just worry about the... Or, uh, a Karn. I just worry about the 4-drop slot. Oh, look at all these can't be blocked creatures. That's annoying. Do we just let them attack next turn and we can... Uh, Exile this guy. Dak attack. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Soul Tide Brood. Really appreciate it. I just moved to Sunday Fall last month. I'm going to Hungry Howie's tomorrow for the first time. I am from Connecticut, so I'm pretty uppity when it comes to pizza, but I heard they have good sandwiches. Okay, so I'm going to be real with you. Hungry Howie's is, is I think it's tasty, but it's, it's definitely a chain. Um, I've never had their sandwiches. I do think their pizza is pretty good, though. So I'm also pretty uppity about pizza. And like, I'll take a good local like a uh, mom and pop New York style pizza chain, pizza pizza restaurant over Hungry Howie's. But if you're feeling like some just pizza, Hungry Howie's is all right. I don't want to give you any false impressions and make you think that like Hungry Howie's is the end all be all of pizza though. I know we hype it up a lot in the chat, but I think it's just it's more of a meme than anything at this point. So it's still good though. I still enjoy it. Um... <sighs> Let's see what happens if we attack Jace. If Jace goes to one, 
All right, that's actually fine. So now we get to eat a carry Zev and we get to eat a Jace. So. I can't imagine a situation where you make two of these. What? Oh my god. Brutal. Their last card was Spell Pierce. Just want to thank you because I started watching videos during Return of Ravnica block and introduced me to the wondrous world of Wacky Deck. Nice! Oh, unexpected results. That deck was a beast. Zack Attack, thank you so much, man. Return to Ravnica was a while ago. Glad to see you're still here. You just plus both of these Jaces? Are they just trying to live the Jace meme? Because this is ridiculous. Sure. Doesn't matter which one I attack. Probably not. Do you just get to eat a Jace? That's pretty cool. All right. What's better? One shoot one one uh one one of Beastie Boy or two Scouty Boys? Uh, this is the question. Can kill you. You're probably just gonna draw one extra card. Uh, I have dabbled in musical instruments, but I'm not, uh, I would never say I'm good by any means. So what happens next turn? They uptick Jace, they get to, they get to loot once, put another card on this guy, probably draw three. I feel like it's this guy, right? I do want to hit lands though for this Vraska. Oh boy. Oh my god, Jace is cutting Castaway and Doubling Season? That seems insane. Oh my god, would Doubling Season, like, once you ultimate Jace, would that be infinite? If you go Doubling Season, Jace, you just go Jace. Because then the next Jaces come into play with six counters on them, right? So then you can ultimate them immediately, making four. Oh my god, that seems insane. I want to play that in Modern. Is that a deck we can we can do? Think about Hazaret. Uh, I'm going to play the Choopy Boy. Nope. Never never going to work like that. Let's see if you like trading. I mean, you're, just, you're netting a card. I feel like I'm not sure why no one's made a meme deck of that yet. Oh, they didn't draw the cards. They just let them go. Wow, they must have had a good one. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, all right. I think we're I think we're ahead here. One branchy boy. Uh Makes me sad. I should have. I should have thought this out through. You can go to the graveyard. And we'll just crack this now. Um, uh, what do we got? Double green, triple black. All right, good forest. Seems pretty easy. 
Um, this act, this attack seems fine, actually. Oh, wow. We get to trade everything for everything? No, we get to kill... We'll kill your Tetsuko. Got rid of a Tetsuko and a Jace for a Jade Light Ranger. That's a fair trade. Also, if we hit a land... Oh, all right. We don't have to hit anything. Okay, let's make one change. We're going to add one more Karn and take out one Evolving Wilds. Or we could actually add one more Fatal Push as well. We'll see which is better. This deck seems much more fun than the deck we played yesterday, despite the deck we played yesterday being uh, just mono good stuffs. Still keeping a bullet. We have two ballistas in. I will play first. I'll keep this hand. Uh, I can actually see going to... This deck doesn't seem like a 26 land deck. It seems like a 24 land deck. I mean, I know we have a lot of... We have six drops and five drops aplenty, but the problem is that, like... The, 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 the opposite of a problem. Uh, the benefit is that we have a bunch of Branch Walkers, a bunch of Jade Light Rangers, and a bunch of Glint Sleeve Siphoners to help us draw into those lands. So I don't actually foresee it being a problem. No way. Why would we? Well, I mean, like, what was what gave you the impression that we would bring we would take out a ballista? I don't remember. We, I, don't, I don't feel like you mentioned messing with ballista. Could use a black mana here. Swamp one time. No, I don't think I ever mentioned taking out Ballista. Ballista seems great. Oh, I see. One cubby boy. All right, well... <sighs> Literally, the, the literal worst card in the deck, uh, I think. Right there. Um, anywhere it deals with the hours, going to pass. Oh, you gotta land, I see. Oh, well, this is awkward. Sure. We're so good at Magic the Gathering. How did you get so good at Magic the Gathering? I'm just going to pass here. But we're going to actually kill something now because they have um, the ability to play Blossoming Defense, and I don't like that, so... All right. 
This is where I actually want lands now. Okay. Magic is delivering. Two gods. No attacks. Well, that's certainly a thing, isn't it? Huh. Well then. We have no real uh <clears throat> Oh, you doubled it. Isn't that cute? Oh, I was really hoping for a branch walker so that we could actually play. Um, we can actually get back this guy with Scarab God and then play branch walker, but that's still pretty good. I think we have to just go siphoner, keep up wild growth walker. Or we can actually play. We can play Mold, Mold, Moldratha, which is a great blocker for this. Yeah, we're just going to Moldratha here. And if they can kill us, they can kill us. We're probably dead. This is where they go good game. They give you the preemptive GG. Oh, this guy's death touch? Oh god. Oh god, who who remembers that? That seems so ridiculous. Why do you need that? All right, well, we're not dead unless we don't block. So we guess we have to block. Oh, that's, that's, that's frustrating. Just throw Moldotha, Moldratha in the trash. Land. It's actually pretty good. Gain casual six life. Um, graveyard and a fetid pools. Six. This would be seven. So if we actually put this into play. Yeah, we actually probably just want to play this because eight mana lets us get back Moldratha and. Uh, so we're probably just chump blocking here. We can't ever block this guy, so. Not with that attitude. All right, here we go. Vraska's Contempt would be indeed great. I agree with you. I'm out of Mountain Dew, which is magic on the green screen. Is there a pump spell that also gives energy? I don't think so. I think there's larger than life. There's crash the ramparts. <coughs> <coughs> Which gives trample. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, Hadana's climb is pretty good. I'm actually a big Hadana's climb fan. <laughs> 
Mountain Dew equals magic juice cringe face. Oh, that was nice. All right. Now we're getting now we're getting somewhere. One, two, three, four. Free Moldrotha. Scry. Uh, walking Ballista seems bad. Land seems pretty good. Can't attack or block, huh? That's pretty good. So is there any way you can pump this guy? Not that I could see. We could sneak back a branch walker or we can just play siphon or branch walker. All right, hope you don't have blossoming defense because that makes these attacks real bad. You don't have any energy actually. You have no energy, so you have no colored mana. So you basically just have to chump block with your electrostatic pummeler. That's actually pretty good. Wait, what? Are you just conceding? Oh, okay. That was an interesting choice. I see. Fatal push, you can come in. Uh, Vraska's Contempt can come in. And Walking Ballista seems pretty bad in this matchup. Eldest Reborn seems good. Death's Majesty seems bad. All right, cool. Wow, this deck's great. How do I feel about uh, Blue Light Control and Modern? Uh, fine. I think it's a good deck. I think it just keeps getting better the more cards they uh, add. I like Sphinx's Revelation and Jace, the Mind Sculptor, a lot as cards. So that's my feelings on that. Burp, 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 burp. Ballista shoots the flyer eventually. I mean, like, it's going to cost us six mana to do that, and that's only if it's a four-four. If it's in response, they could always pump it. Like that—that that matchup did not go uh, how they wanted it to. I imagine so. This is a this is a hand here. I'm almost tempted to keep it on turn two. We can cycle turn three. So we have two plays. I use the term play loosely. I think we can probably do better, especially on the yeah. This hand's better. And I was going to say any land will keep, especially if it's a blue land and it was a fetid pool, so. Well, that's a, that's just a mulligan. <laughs> no, just kidding. That's fine. That's a fine card. You could serve it into Vraska's Contempt, which seems pretty good. Well, that guy's pretty good. I think it's definitely serving here so we can Vraska's Contempt ASAP. Uh, Tefri, I'm not sure. I, I think Tefri could be good. Uh, I don't think there's enough evidence to... 
I think Teferi definitely has a home in modern. Being able to untap two mana is great because then you can mana leak, you can remand. Um, so it gives you a lot of like two mana's two mana goes a lot farther in modern than it does in standard. Are we dead? <laughs> I guess we're just taking 10 here. All right, that was fine. Yeah, I mean, that's not ideal for us, but ideally, we, I mean, we have Raska's Contempt, I guess, and hope you don't have Blossoming Defense. <clears throat> yeah, the, the luck, luck master. The problem with the problem with blue white and modern is that you actually have so many choices. Um, there's a ton of cards in modern for a blue white control deck, and uh, sometimes it's actually pretty difficult to decide on which ones you want. All right, fingers crossed. Yeah, I figured. Never didn't have it. There's no point in waiting. Let's see if they can kill us here. They don't have enough energy to double it again, so. Good lord. That's a dude. I think we actually just want the guys on board. One, two, three, four. No, we're gonna we're gonna tap this correctly. There we go. Black for Siphoner. We want cards that are gonna dig us closer, and both Branch Walker and Siphoner do that. Scarab God doesn't do much right now. You also don't do much, unfortunately. We sadly need to find an answer to this guy because it's four power next turn, so. Well. Any pump spell kills us. Yep, that'll do. All right. Yeah. I mean, Bontu's Last Reckoning actually might be good here. Yeah, I almost actually like Bontu's Last Reckoning in this deck. No, or in this in this matchup. There's only one of, so. Take out the Eldest Reborn. What's my favorite deck in modern? Um It's probably Blue Black Control. <laughs> Oddly enough. I think Blue Black Control is a deck that I always end up people always have me play the deck. I always end up trying it out. <clears throat> and then I always end up doing really, really well with it. And I think it's probably one of the most underappreciated decks in the format. So. I will play first. All 
I will keep this hand all day. We've played Muldrotha several times, actually. I'm I'm impressed. Let's go hub into Siphoner, and then we can draw a card immediately. Oh, uh, Miss Modern Technic, uh, Blue Light Control, if that's what you're referring to. Yeah, we're just going to play Glen Sleep Siphoner here. This is the kind of deck where, like, if, if you can play a Glensleaf Siphoner as soon as you can, they're pro you're probably just going to draw a million cards, especially if they miss their second land drop. They did not. Ooh, that's a good-looking land. This is a good-looking island. Yes. Ooh, old Bonte. I wonder if I just pass here and just let them overextend into Bontu's Last Reckoning. That actually seems bad. I feel like we can just save it and use it as like a uh, a catch-all, especially because next turn we can choops. Just making sure we play the land. Uh, we're going to Servant so we can draw another card. I guess we could have Glint Sleeve Siphoner to do the same thing, but this ramps us. So if we draw Scarab God, we can just play that bad boy. Do I just block here? <laughs> you can't larger than life because of the sorcery. I'll block. If you want a Blossoming Defense just to keep this guy alive, that is more than fine. Otherwise, that feels like a, a great trade. Um, listen, I haven't been together for over two years, so probably not. That uh, doesn't seem likely. Another 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 Long Tusk Cub. The, the good thing about the one good thing about Long Tusk Cub is that it doesn't make energy when it comes into play. Fetid pools. Just quad siphoners. I guess by quad I mean triple because that's how three works instead of four. I'm actually going to play this guy because it's a better chump blocker. And I'll play one Glen Sleep Siphoner. Um, yeah, we can put you on the top. <clears throat> just got my pre-release pack in the mail a couple days ago and I pulled the chase for a damning sphere have you seen any sweet salt I list in standard I'm playing one right now I hope Bob's Cleric dies I haven't played standard in a long time I want to try either salt or on a black aggro because I have 280 for a play set of Karn Canadian doll oh, the Canadian dollar you have my utmost apologies good sirs yeah there's a salt thing going on right now I will draw one one whole crad, but not two. I feel like we're way ahead right now. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Yeah, I think this game just ended. I'm going to play a little chupacabra. Let your heart be This is lethal on board. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they're at nine. Seems good. I think we just went 3-0 with this sweet deck. This is a deck I can get behind, my friends. All right, so this is the deck we ended up on. We took out one Evolving Wilds for one Karn. <coughs> Realistically, I can actually see taking out one more land, maybe like a Forest for Fatal Push, or even the other second Evolving Wilds. I'm not a big Evolving Wilds fan. Uh, thankfully, the only lands in this deck that come into play tapped on turn one 
are fetid pools and woodland cemetery. So you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have sixteen lands that are going to come into play untapped on turn one, and uh, four, eight, nine, ten of them are going to help woodland cemetery come untapped, untapped in play, uh, in the play on turn two. Uh, deck seems sweet. I actually enjoyed it. I had a good time. It felt like we were uh, in every matchup. The only questionable choices are Eldest Reborn and Liliana. I think for me, I like the Hostage Taker. Vraska's Contempt and Ravish Chupacabras are obvious. All these cards are obvious. Uh, Meld Meldrotha was actually surprisingly good. And uh, these cards, I've never been a Liliana fan. I and That's not true. I've been a Liliana fan. But even despite the fact that I'm a Liliana fan, she doesn't really pull her weight, I feel like, in a lot of her in a lot of the matchups she's in. Um, the Eldest Reborn, it's a cute card. I'm not sure if it's good enough. It wasn't bad for us, though. So I'll say that. Also, being able to just pull a Scarab God or a Meldrotha from your graveyard. I don't know how this guy's going to get there. You're probably going to mill it away with, with an Explorer or something. Either way, you should definitely check this deck out. It's pretty sweet. Um, and uh, let me know if you guys have any thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. And I'll see you guys next time.